when you're saying yes to things that you don't want to do, realize that you're really saying no to the bigger opportunities that are out there coming your way. What's going on? You're listening to episode 38 of the Perspective Podcast, and I'm your host, Scotty Russell of Perspective Collective. This show is just a weekly push to pursue your best work and to get through those times when you're feeling invisible. We all get stuck sometimes, and I want you to know that I'm in your corner. And leading off, you know, I'm not usually one, I hate sponsorships, I hate ads, but if I feel like I have a product or service to recommend that I really feel that can help you, your creativity, and really take your work to the next level, then damn it, I am totally going to share that with you. And right now, the product I want to share, this isn't mine. I am not sponsored. I just think it's a kick-ass product, and it's from my friends, the Four Fathers Group, and it's called Renaissance. And it's a simple Photoshop action set that helps you achieve unmatched hyper-realism with your photos and projects instantly. And it's for $20 over at fourfathersgroup.com. These dudes are so cool. They kick out great work. I really believe in them. And again, I'm not sponsored. I just want to push out work that I believe in and people that I believe in that are trying to focus on helping the creative community. It gives you some massive crazy depth and contrast within your photos with a couple action click sets. And it's an amazing product and I can't wait to dive more into it. So again, it's called Renaissance and it's at forefathersgroup.com. This premise of this week's episode is based on a topic that I've been dealing with pretty much my whole life. I'm, I'm definitely one who gets myself into things without thinking. I immediately jump to saying yes, even if you know it's not something I was really into or something that really excites me. Maybe it's someone I, I have a habit of being a people pleaser. You know, I want people to like me at all times. Who doesn't? Which I at least I could admit that shit. But still, I have a habit of saying yes out of guilt or out of obligation or even the fact that I may not feel like another project will be coming my way. And that's what this episode is about today, and it's about creative decision-making. If it's not a hell yes, then the answer should be a hell no. I hope you get some insight out of this as ever since I've been operating out of this mindset, if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. It's really helped me pull the trigger on decision-making so much easier. It's made it so much easier for me and a lot less stressful. So let's get after it. Let's go. All right, the power of no and the value of your time. This past April at Creative South, I got a chance to listen to a panel discussion by Mark Hemion and Joe Buchelman of Design Inc. Scratch that. Uh, According to Mark, design panels suck ass, so they turned it into a quirky little session about 70-ish life and business lessons for designers. And I actually have this and everything else I'll talk about in the show notes over at perspective-collective.com slash 38. What made it even more enjoyable was the always sunny in Philadelphia theme song playing in the background, along with the crazy amount of energy and humor they injected into the presentation. One of the biggest takeaways that punched me in the gut was when they said, if it's not a hell yes, then it's a hell no. And this spoke volumes to how I used to take on work simply out of financial scarcity or due to feeling obligated. I want this episode to drive home the fact that saying no creates more time for the work that excites you. And listening to this episode better be a hell yes to you right now at this moment too. The power of saying no. Why is it so hard to say no to people? For me, it always landed into two buckets. The first one, there was an element of people pleasing or some type of obligation, you know, guilted into doing something. The second one was that money has kind of always been tight for me and projects coming along kind of felt scarce. And letting these guide my decisions of saying yes got me into some really shitty commitments that held my time and my excitement hostage. Only in the last two years have I discovered the power of saying no. To be honest, saying no has allowed me to stumble across some exciting new work that's let me evolve as an artist. For example, back in September 2016, last year, 
I randomly got the chance to do my first mural. The only reason I was free to take on this new challenge was because I turned down a not so exciting job the week before. And what's crazy is that murals have easily blossomed into the work that excites me the most. And who knows when or if I would have ever stumbled across this new medium had I committed to the other project. There just wouldn't have been time to take it on. And that brings me to one of the main points I want to get to today is that your most valuable asset isn't money. It's your time. You could always make more money, lose money, get it back, give it away, get some more. But your time, you know, that's, that's finite. And we all have the same 24 hours in a day. And each hour is sacred when you really think about it. Your hours, your time in the day is sacred. And when you say yes to mediocre things you really don't want to do, you're really saying no to the things that you really want to say yes to. I hope that makes sense. So when you say yes to mediocre things, you're really saying no to the things you want to do. And by filling up those <laughs> by filling up those open gaps in your life with low budget t-shirt designs for unaccountable clients who take forever to pay you, you're killing those spontaneous opportunities that could be an instant hell yes. And that's where saying no comes in. When something is in a hell yes, it should be a hell no. So what happens when you're operating out of scarcity? If you're taking work solely based on scarcity or guilt, I really think you should reframe your thinking. And I say this because this used to be me. So to be clear, right now in my life, I choose to take on freelance, but I don't necessarily have to, and I realize that this doesn't apply to everyone. This doesn't. Some of you have to take on extra work to meet bills and stuff, and I totally respect that. I've been there. I get it. Right now, for me, I make enough at my day job doing graphic and web design, in case you don't know, for a corporation. I don't do Perspective Collective full-time. I'm out here grinding. I make enough at this day job to cover my bills cover my groceries, and gas, and the occasional pizza to treat myself. So I'm not living lavishly over here with the stay job. However, the reason why I freelance is because I'm not bringing in enough to save for a kid or to save to take Perspective Collective full-time, as well as to attack the student loans that I have pretty much on my shoulders. And this is why I choose to freelance, but I'm pursuing it more intentionally than I was before. With this new mindset of hell yes or hell no, I've grown to be more selective now, and each month I try to target one hell yes project. Only one, as I still have the day job, I'm still trying to focus on this podcast, and I still have plenty of husband duties that take priority. And you know, sometimes I don't give the people in my life the attention they deserve, and you know, that's on me. So I really need to focus on things, and that's where this hell yes, hell no comes in. The old me would have settled for the first project that popped up due to the scarcity mindset I had. I was willing to trade my sanity and satisfaction in my work as I felt this opportunity would never come again and neither would this small chunk of change that accompanied it. And I'd find myself getting lost in this work that I hate, dealing with people that I didn't want to work with, and some things just seemed to stretch and take forever, like getting approval on a project, getting communication back and forth, or even just getting paid. But it reminds me to remind you that there are going to be plenty of more projects coming your way if you happen to pass on one. Okay, this isn't the last project that'll ever come your way. Please remember that. That was the hardest thing for me to wrap my mind around as projects just felt so sacred at the time. The other time that I find myself saying yes to things is when I'm operating out of a place of guilt or obligation. So on the other end of scarcity mindset is the spectrum of feeling guilted or obligated to do work for friends or family or even just people that are acquaintances that live around you. For the record, I have zero problems doing pro bono work for friends or family when it's for a good cause and it's convenient in my schedule. However, the people closest to you seem to always want a hookup or some type of freebie. I can't tell you how many times I've had some family or friends guilt me into doing work for them. 
Other times they would get outraged when I tell them my pricing or simply reply with a professional or polite no. And I live in a small town and especially in a small town like mine where $50 for a logo is the going rate and some people look at that like that's insanely high. You know, people are going to act like you're crazy. And sadly, people are going to proceed to talk shit about you behind your back, like you're trying to rob them or Scotty's just out here to make money off people. I've dealt with this several times, and one of them was recently. And as you continue to invest your life, your effort, your sweat, your blood, your tears, and your money into your craft, you'll start to realize the value of what you produce and just how sacred your time is. And over time, you'll see that true friends and family will understand and respect you even if they don't like your response. The rest of the people who want to talk shit, doesn't matter, trim the fat and reduce your circle. You'll feel much better about the situation. And I get the feeling of wanting to people please, but you're better off saying no to free you up for the bigger hell yes opportunities coming your way. Since I've adopted this hell yes only mantra and motto, it feels like A ton of pressure has been lifted off my shoulder over the last couple months. Making decisions and pulling the trigger is so much easier in my opinion when you operate based on a simple yes or no. You're always going to be faced with tough decisions, but if you can get by without taking on a mediocre project and like you don't need the money, it's just more of a want than a need, then do it. You know, get by without it. Say no. If people want to judge or talk shit because you quoted them too high or because you said no, then who cares? That's their problem. You know, good riddance. It lets you kind of see who the people you want to be surrounded by are. And I start seeing that every day as the circle keeps getting smaller and smaller as I keep, you know, investing more in myself and my dreams and the value of what I can give to clients and people like you on the other end listening. Simplify your decision making and free up your time for the projects that excite you. Function from a mindset of, if it's not a hell yes, then it's a definite hell no. And keep moving forward. Seriously, when you get done listening to this episode, take some time to reflect on some of maybe the more recent projects, just projects in the past that you've taken on out of feeling like projects are scarce or money is scarce or you're feeling obligated or guilted into taking something on and just think about how shitty and sucky those projects were at times and how you couldn't wait to get out of them you know there's a way to avoid those and it involves getting uncomfortable saying no is not a comfortable thing when starting off but You know, it gets easier and easier as you go. And you just remember, you don't have to explain yourself. Like, that's something I still have to do when I'm talking to me right now. When you say no, you don't have to explain yourself. I mean, this is your decision. This is your life. This is your time, your effort, your energy. You got stuff going on outside of your job, too, probably like I do, your day job, your side hustle. Then you probably have a significant other or, you know, some kind of other commitments to people. And don't let shitty projects... And things you don't want to do take you away from doing the things you want to do. When you're saying yes to things you don't want to do, realize that you're really saying no to the bigger opportunities that are out there coming your way. And I promise you, they are coming your way. I hope you found some value in this episode as, you know, honestly, this episode is more for me and I hope it can benefit you as well. And if you're finding value in this show at all, One of the best ways that you can give back to the show is just by leaving a positive review over on iTunes. I am so absolutely grateful for the people who've taken time to do so. It doesn't take that long, but it gives a lot of value to the show of helping people know what the show is about. It helps the show get discovered, and it just really makes my day. So if you want to make my day, just leave a review over on iTunes. I'd be extremely grateful. I want to give a huge thank you to Nick Jenkins of Bluka for all the dope music that you hear on the show. If you don't think it's dope, that's cool to me. I think it's amazing, and it really helps me find my groove in my work. So thank you, Nick Jenkins. You can find more of his work over at soundcloud.com slash bluka. That's B-L-O-O-K-A-H. And as always, I need to just give you a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart. I don't care if it sounds sappy. I mean it. 
Thank you so much for lending me your ears and spending time out of your existence. Time is your most valuable asset and you're here with me right now and I can't tell you how much that means to me. I want to encourage you to just keep showing up, keep putting in the work, and keep creating. You got this. Oh, 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 oh,